Uh, hi everyone. So let's talk about uh, how we can declare the types for the array and list. Okay. So let's talk about the first list. Here I'm saying that this list is going to be of type number, number array. So in this case, you cannot assign anything apart from numbers. If you try to do six, it will be an error, right? So six can only be a number. Similarly, let uh, list one be it and uh, what I'm doing uh, list is of type array so we have capital array this is the other way of uh, creating the array in JavaScript this is of type number so it will only accept uh, the number argument if you try to put something in the string then you will see right uh, the string number is not assignable right so you will get the types to compiler error Okay, other ways of uh, doing this is like let list two. Okay, and the type which I'm declaring is the same array of type number. Okay, and here I'm creating new array, and in this new array, it is of uh, type number, and here the values will be. So this is also another way of uh, the creating the array, right? Now, let's mix the types. So list uh, three, and here I will try to mix the type. So I need to use a union of, so it can be of number or it can be of string array, right? So here, I got a liberty to create few variables in the string also. Right. It is perfectly fine, but you cannot put a boolean here, right? So you'll get a same warning kind of message. Same thing is we can write in the different way. Let list four and just uh, changing the variable names. This is of an array, so here it can be of number. So you see how uh, how much liberty uh, that. Uh, type script is giving us and how much restriction it is adding. So we can always be a type safe while declaring a variables, creating a functions. It's fine, right? So this is how we have added a type safety here that array uh, of, I'm creating array of type uh, having numbers and string and that is fine. I created an array here. So same thing you can create with the new array also because array can be created similarly like or x equal to array. This is how we create it or or x equal to new array. This is also another way of creating the array, right? So we are using the same list five and here you can create new keyword array and uh, it will be of type number and string. Right, uh, so different variations, uh, meaning it's same. Okay, so let's uh, uh, talk about enum in the next video.